bet the heat will be in the more triple digits more days than we care to admit this summer. And with that kind of heat comes a potentially fatal reality in the parking lot when children and animals are left alone in the car. So what do you do in that situation? And would your actions be legal? And on your side, Simone Del Rosario joins us live on the east side with the answer. Simone. Val, I'd like to start off first by saying that no animals were harmed during this story. But in a day like today, 100 degree heat, it could very easily happen to someone like Roper here if he were locked in the car. A car acts like an oven and the temperature can quickly rise dozens of degrees, making it extremely dangerous for your pet. We asked Tucsonans what they would do if they discovered a dog trapped in a hot car. First thing I do is call 911 and if it's became unconscious, I would probably break the window and try and get it out. I wouldn't hesitate. I would, I would break the window for sure. Well, a Pima County Sheriff's detective who specializes in animal cruelty tells me there's no law saying it's legal to break open that window yourself for a pet, but that you should definitely call 911 immediately and let them know there's a dog in distress and let authorities make the call on whether to break out that pet. She says the absolute last resort is to break it open yourself if you're firmly convinced the animal could die. And while many of us consider our pets to be our children, could the protocol be different if we're talking about actual children inside the vehicle or would you still have to call 911 first? I'll tell you tonight at 10 o'clock. Live on the east side, I'm Simone Del Rosario, Kega 9 on your side. Okay, thanks, Simone. I believe you were a bit upstage there as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is Roper. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you.